What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. It is crazy hot out here once again. We're, of course, starting off at the outlet. Again, today, this is going to be kind of a, a theme. We're gonna be here most mornings for, for at least a long time, I hope. Um, yesterday's vlog, I edited for the first time on our new MacBook and it's working great, so I'm happy about that. You might have noticed a couple little changes. Um, so I'm going to hopefully continue to make a couple little changes. There's some things I wanna do. Um, one primary thing is I want a new intro. And I'm not looking for anyone to make me an intro because I have something very kind of specific in mind that I wanna do. It's very simple, very short, um, but I think the little GameCube startup, I think it's cool and I like it and I, and I understand that people, when they hear that, they recognize like what's about to happen and everything. But I think making it a little bit more personal slash unique would be better than, you know, having a Nintendo thing. And I do think that it fits with the channel very well, but I just think that something, something that's more us, I think would be better. So I'm gonna head inside, see if we can find anything, and then I'm heading to the store. So just left the outlet. Abby just called me as well, and we're closing now. Abby said it's like already 80 degrees in the store, um, and we're also incredibly slow. The outlet was also really, really slow. They only had three people working in the back, so they did not do any rotations the entire time I was here. When I got here, Jess was also here. She said she had been here for an hour and they didn't do anything. So kind of sucks. I did get a few things, but not much. So we have a troll, Dollar Palkia. This is a dinosaur figure from 1988, but it's probably just Dollar Bin. Got a little Dollar Transformer guy, a little Garfield, a little like Iron Man Transformer that turns into a plane. Just pretty much all stuff for the Dollar Bin. I got a trackball mouse, but as you can see, it's in horrible condition. Um, if, if it works, I'll sell it on eBay, you know, obviously it's super, super ugly, so it'll be discounted, but hopefully it works. Got a HDMI cable and an Xbox 360 AV. Probably one of my best finds, this big screen solitaire. It's a little dirty and has the screwed in battery cover, so I can't check for corrosion. If it works, that's, you know, probably, I didn't look it up, it's probably 20 bucks or so. I found a Wii remote. No battery cover though, it's not corroded. I got a Pez dispenser for my the lot I've been building. I got this little, what is this, an Inklio? This is 1987 Tyco. Um, so these older dinosaur toys, I'm gonna look them up on eBay, but they're probably just gonna go in the dollar bin. And then here's my receipt. I spent $9.47. I got a Jimmy Buffett CD for Amazon, it's brand new. That was going for about 15, I think. And then I have Big Bang Theory, second season, factory seal on DVD, cheapest on eBay's 13. And then Mars Attacks on DVD for the store. Uh, we'll be selling this for five bucks. This is an awesome movie if you guys haven't seen it. Very funny. Um, so that is everything. So I'm gonna head back to the store. I am going to the store to at least do some stuff because in the back office, it's really not too bad. It's just out you know, on the sales floor where everyone's working and everyone's shopping, that it's like incredibly hot. So I'll at least be able to do something today. And I finally have some eBay sales to film. <laughs> Didn't sell anything over the past couple of days, but we have four things now from this morning. So I'm gonna head to the store, see what we can do today. Hi guys. Um, so Cooper isn't at the store yet. We actually closed early today. Um, it is 80 degrees out there. I think Cooper explained it. Like the AC back here is working, but the AC out on the sales floor is not working. And it's just too hot to ask our employees to work in that kind of heat. Um, so sent everybody home closed early um but we did get a massive trade-in before we closed um it is i don't know what time it is uh, it's 1 47 so we didn't even make it two hours after we opened unfortunately but we have an amazing trade-in um let me see all of these were traded in cartridge only this is from somebody who goes to like garage sales uh facebook marketplace and they buy bundles um and so all of these came to us cartridge only these two 
have like sticker residue on the cases from when we took them in so they need to be clean that's why the tags are on the side so we have a mario odyssey super mario kart 7 we have super mario party super mario party mario odyssey mario odyssey super mario kart 8 three of those these were all like he was like very unsure if we would take multiples but after he explained the situation i was just like oh yeah you're fine don't worry about it because a lot of people like a suit like gamestop won't let you do that um and other stores are like oh like these are stolen kind of thing if somebody has multiples but we know a ton of people that do reselling so we try to do our best to understand the situation um two copies of new super mario brothers 2 on the 3ds uh super mario 3d land wreck it ralph pokemon Al alpha sapphire mario kart 7 luigi's mansion dark moon uh paper mario sticker star another super mario 3d land uh super mario maker another super mario maker new super mario bros pokemon white pokemon platinum phantom hourglass mario vs donkey kong mini land mayhem um we got the big box uh let's go pikachu so I had the empty box, I had the box for the little Pokeball controller, and then I had the Pokeball and I put them all together. So I parted this together from like four different times. Um, so glad we had that it's fully complete. Um, it is $85. And then cartridge only, um, Super Mario Party, um, Doom. Oh god, sorry. Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. This one is a little bit poor. You can kind of, I don't know if it's going to focus because it's my face right there. Uh, this one's got like water damage on the outside of the cartridge. Um, we have Neo Atlas. This is a J Japanese import. Um, Nickelodeon Umi Zoom. Zelda. Zelda. Zelda and trash pack and then there's a few more this is again this is all from one same one guy uh two paper mario uh sticker stars donkey kong country returns 3d new super mario brothers 2 ocarina of time 3d um spongebob skylanders giants lego marvel lego movie scribble knots unlimited um, Ghost Recon, Duck Dynasty, Angry Birds Trilogy, Sonic Boom, Shattered Crystal. Uh, this is labeled incorrectly, I have to fix it, but this is another Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. It's listed as Luigi's Mansion, though, which are two different games. Um, and then we have Sonic All-Star Racing Transformed. Um, then we have four copies of Super Smash on the 3DS. A paper or sorry mario and luigi paper jam and then i just did these another one of these but yeah um that is it for the trade-ins we do have a couple of packages that arrived yesterday that we forgot to film uh yesterday so we're probably gonna film that when cooper comes in i'm gonna try to get a few more things done at the store i don't mind the heat but you just it's not something that people can work in um i understand why it's uncomfortable but um yeah so i think cooper will probably be the next face that you see bye maven's leaving <laughs> say bye later <laughs> my what like 10 minutes i was here just saying yeah bye. yeah too hot too hot <laughs> see you tomorrow maybe yeah. <laughs> it is very hot so we are closed here's our closed sign um I am still going to do some work in the back because it's actually not that bad back there. But out here, it's real bad. Let me walk over here and look at the thermostat real quick. It is, I don't know if you can see that. You can't see, it's too small, but it's 77 in here right now. But if I go back here, it is... 70. I don't know if you can see that. So it's much cooler back here. Are you going to go home? I have a few more things to finish up, but then I need to go grocery shopping. Okay. Yeah, if... Naven said it pretty good. If, if you're just standing around in, in the 77 degrees, it's not that bad. But once you're, like, moving around and working and doing stuff, 
it's just it's too much and i know we're not the only store to be closing from this because i've seen i saw other stores post on on facebook and stuff that like you know they either don't have ac at all or they have bad ac i guess like we do i thought we had good ac till this happened because this has never happened before yeah basically like what nicole said is like we can't have it if you do if you have it 20 degrees more than 20 degrees variance from outside then you're going to freeze up the ac unit which i think we froze it up yesterday but it wasn't our fault that we froze it up because it was like it was at like 72 and i was like oh I'll turn it to 70 70 and then it was 74 and then it was 76 degrees and i was just like okay i have to just shut it off at this point yeah because it's gonna freeze like, ac unit by itself we're not trying to freeze it obviously it's just you know it that's what's happening because the temperature outside keeps raising we're not changing the thermostat we're leaving it at what we always have it at because we have it <sighs> Yeah, there's a, there's a schedule for it that runs automatically. But I guess Abby said she filmed a really awesome trade-in, so... I didn't um, film the, the one DSP. Okay, so it. there was one other trade-in, and that is Resident Evil Deadly Silence for the DS. Complete? Yes. Cool. So, um, at least you guys packages. got a cool trade. Um, oh yeah, we do have a few packages as well. We'll do those in a little bit. But I'm gonna work on some eBay and Amazon stuff and then we're still resurfacing, of course, that's that noise. That's the machine. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be going home early today. I've been here for a little while working on some stuff and I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna go back to the outlet. <laughs> um, when I left, the lady said that they might start doing some rotations because they had three people now. So I'm hoping that they did. Um, I just, I'm not looking forward to going home because it's hot there too. It feels nice in here. It's 72 in this room right now. It's not too bad. And if I'm just sitting here on the computer, then it's not bad. If I was up moving stuff around and, and you know, doing things, it might be a little warm. But at home, I know it's like 10, to, at least 10 degrees warmer. So I don't really have a desire to go home right now. Um, so... I was thinking maybe I'll just go around to some other Goodwills, but I think I'll go to the outlet because that'll give me the best chance of finding something, but also it'll guarantee that I spend the least amount of money. So we're going to do that. And who knows, I might stop at a couple after that. I'm not sure. Um, but I did what I needed to do here. I got pictures of all the new inventory taken for our Facebook and Instagram. I got a lot of the stuff that I got from Goodwill today worked on. Um, I have my Amazon shipment still going. I had some more stuff in the trunk of my car that I didn't realize was, didn't realize was still there for Amazon. So I added a few more, few more things down here and uh, got some more eBay pictures taken. Got the weight and dimensions added in for all the items that got traded in today so that people can actually buy them on the website. Got my eBay stuff shipped and got that filmed. So I don't have anything else here that I need to do right now. So let's go back to the outlet. I hope I don't regret coming back here for the second time today, but we can at least hit up a couple other ones before we head back home if we need to. And I regretted it. I walked in. Same cashier was there from earlier. I asked her if they rotated and she said no. <laughs> she said they didn't do any rotations because they didn't have enough customers, which seems weird. If they were rotating, they'd probably have more customers. <laughs> but when people come in here and they're, they don't rotate at all, everyone leaves. And then once they finally have enough employees to start rotating, they don't have enough customers to make it worth it. So they're actually closing early today as well. Um, she just told me they are closing at 5, which is in 35 minutes. Normally they close at 7. So we're going to drive around and hit up maybe a couple more, maybe just one. Not really sure yet. This is where we found all those really good PS3 games last week or the week before. So hopefully we can find something good to make up for today. So we actually did find some good stuff there. Um, I decided not to film today inside the Goodwills just because I get really bored of editing that kind of stuff sometimes. It's just the same thing over and over. So I spent a total of $27.93. We actually found quite a bit. I got a sealed uh, Panasonic Hi8 tape for 99 cents. This is 20 bucks on Amazon. I got this calculator. It's a uh, 
the case is armadillo gear, but it's world savings and it's a qualifier plus IIIPX. Uh, this was $2.99. It works. There's working batteries in it, so I was able to test it. It looks like they sell for about $20 on eBay. I got this Robin Thick CD that's factory sealed. This was, I think they're $1.99 at regular Goodwills. This is also about 20 bucks on Amazon. Got this for Abby, Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2. It's the last Blu-ray she did not have. For the store, I got the Hobbit Unexpected Journey Extended Edition Blu-ray. Uh, these, I think, were $1.99. Where's that receipt? Because the DVDs didn't have tags. They were $2.99 each. So, got that, and then also for the store we have E.T., the two-disc limited collector's edition, also factory sealed, and Sleeping Beauty 50th Anniversary Platinum Edition sealed. These are both about like eight bucks. I think the I think the Lord of the Rings was about the same. For Amazon, we have a sealed uh, Range Plus adapter here. It was seven bucks. It's going for 39 on eBay, or on Amazon. And then lastly, a Star Wars Revenge of, or Return of the Jedi puzzle. Uh, this is from 1995. I counted the pieces. It says that there's 550, but I got to 550 and I still had more left over. I know that it usually it's not 100% exact, but the fact that there was like, I mean, there was at least 165 or 565. So hopefully they're all in there, but that one is going for about 20 bucks on eBay. Nothing too, too crazy, but overall some pretty good stuff. So. I'm feeling some good luck, so we're going to hit up another one. Let's hope we can have just as good a look at this one as we did at the last one. That last stop was really awesome, but I also think I'm looking a little bit harder now since I'm getting back into doing Amazon stuff. So I am looking a little bit harder and it's paying off. This is starting to feel like thrifting like a few years ago because I'm finding a lot of stuff and it's making me happy. First up, we have a figure here. This is John Locke from Lost, the TV show. It was $4. This is a McFarlane figure. Um, I was having some trouble kind of trying to look it up on my phone for whatever reason. Um, a bunch of like Funko Pops and stuff are coming up when I search. Um, so I wasn't able to like nail down an exact price for him. I was seeing some that were opened but still had the original packaging for like 30 to 40. So I don't know, four bucks, take a little bit of a chance on it. Then I found two CDs for Amazon. We have Brass Theater 3, factory sealed, and a Bamboo Craig Russell, both sealed. These are both $3. Um, they are about 15 bucks a piece. Then I got a Star Fox Zero Collector's Edition Strategy Guide. I saw this here before, but it was $7, and I was like, eh, it's too much, because we'd only sell it for like 10. But it was a red tag, which is half off today, so got that for $3.50. Trivial Pursuit Party, sealed for Amazon, five bucks. I uh, can't remember what it's going for. This is the most expensive thing I found. Seen it, Disney second edition, factory sealed. It was 10 bucks, but it's going for 90 on Amazon, which is like 68 after fees and shipping. But the coolest thing I found is this. This is Star Wars Yoda, an interactive Yoda with a lightsaber. Uh, it was $10, it is not sealed, but it does have all the original packaging. This is a 90s one from Tiger Electronics. Uh, no, 2000, so still older. Um, pretty cool though. He looks like he is going for not too much, but we'll probably sell him for 20 bucks at the store. So I'm having some good luck, so I'm going to continue on and we're gonna hit up another one. This next one is the Goodwill that I come to the least because their prices are higher than all the other ones in Vancouver. And it's not like they have better stuff, it's just, they're more expensive, so hopefully we can find something. I take back what I just said. Got more stuff here than any other place. <laughs> Usually, in my experience, this place is more expensive, but I don't know if I just got lucky today or what, but I found a ton of stuff. All right, so at this stop, I spent $73.56. Most I've spent at any of the places, but it was definitely worth it. I found a ton of CDs. Um, they were all two bucks a piece. They're all factory sealed. And the average price on these is $20. 
So we have Andrew Bird and the Mysterious Production of Eggs. <laughs> um, Jewel Lullaby. A Disney lullaby one. Anytime you see like kids lullaby type stuff, if it's sealed, they're usually pretty good. This is like $30. Same with this Jewel one, but I don't think that the Jewel one is an actual lullaby CD. I don't know. Um, Mozart, classical music one. Um, Halsey, Manic. And then Sissel. This is the cheapest one. And then we have Army of Darkness on DVD. Um, we're just going to sell this for five bucks at the store. I also got the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 Blu-ray plus DVD. It's factory sealed, but they cut it right here to put the tag underneath the seal. I told the cashier that that's a horrible idea, and I saw a ton of them like that. I would have bought more if, if they didn't do that to a lot of them. This one, the cheapest one posted on eBay at all, is 15 bucks, so it's still worth it. And then I got Chobits, the Chobits Collection 3-disc DVD set. Some anime I've never heard of, um, but it's all in there. Abby doesn't want this one, I already asked her, so we're gonna sell that. Looks like it goes for about 15 to 20. I got a PS3 uh, camo controller, and it's got one of these little like wireless charger things on there that obviously we can't use. I got a little Eeyore plush that's got his original tag. Um, he sells for about 15. Same with this uh, Tiny Toon Adventures uh, furball plush. I couldn't find this exact one, but all the other furball plushies from 1990, which is where this one is from, are selling for about 15. So I'm gonna put it up for that, see what happens. I got two PlayStation Move controllers. These were $7 a piece. Oh, the this is also $7 found another PS3 controller, also $7, and I found an Xbox One controller for $7. So that's pretty crazy. Last item, just a little pack of Brother uh, shipping label things. This was $2.99, and they're going for, I think it was like 20 bucks on Amazon or so, like 18 or 20. So overall, I'm extremely happy with that stop. And I'm going to one more before I head home. The only reason I'm not going to more is because um, I because I went to the outlet and then I went to the one that was right near the outlet. If I were to go to any more, I would be backtracking at this point because um, I, I skipped I skipped one of them. Well, I skipped I'm skipping two basically, but they are so far apart from each other that it's not worth trying to make the drive. I think today because I'm going around on Tuesday anyway. So uh, one more and then we're heading home. Here's our last stop, guys. If we don't find anything, I'll still be happy because we got a ton of good stuff, but I'm hoping to go out with a bang. Just left our last stop, and I think we did pretty good once again. I'm surprised that I'm finding so much stuff because it's usually not like this, as you guys know. You know, you see my videos where I go thrifting and I'll get maybe a thing or two at each Goodwill, but today's just been awesome. And I feel like it's because a lot of people are not leaving the air conditioning in their house. So I spent $36.79 here. Got this pair of Shore brand headphones. They're a pretty, pretty well-known brand. They make a lot of microphones and stuff. These are SRH240A. They were $6.99, and they're going for about 20 to 30 bucks on eBay. I got this thing, which I've never bought one of these before. It's an iTop Brad maker. I don't even know what a Brad is, but it's like a little. It's like a little pin thing, I don't know. But this is brand new, it was 10 bucks. They're going for about 30 on eBay, so we should be able to, you know, about double our money after fees and shipping. I got a Sonic the Hedgehog plushie. He was five bucks, we'll probably just sell him for 10 at the store. I got an Xbox 360 controller, 399. Has a rechargeable battery, which we don't use, so this is trash, but we have extra battery holders. Um, this one is really nice and clean. Joysticks do not need to be replaced, that's why I bought it. There was a white one that I left for the same price. It had no battery cover, it was very dirty, and the joysticks had no rubber at all on them. And then I got two remotes here. We have an LG DVD recorder remote. That was $2. This is about 20, 30 bucks. And then we have a Pioneer Plasma display remote. This was $2.99. Uh, the model number is right there if you want to look it up. But these looks like they're averaging like 15 to 20. And then one of my favorite finds, probably the least exciting, one of my favorites. I found a factory sealed garage door remote opener and this is not a new one. Does it have a date? This is from 2001. 
opened garage door remote openers like this will sell for 20 to 30 bucks. These new, there's none posted. There's quite a few sold. I'd, I'd say probably seven or eight of them sold up to $85 for a new one. And this was three bucks. So I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna go home and grab Abby. She's dying in the heat and she said she forgot a few groceries. So um, I might just pick her up and then we'll go to Winco or something to get a few more things. She forgot lunch meat is what she said. Um, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and end the vlog right here, guys, so that I can get some stuff done. Oh my God, it's so bright. Get some stuff done that I gotta do and try not to die in the heat once I finally do get home. Abby was trying to convince me to keep going to Goodwills, but I'm like, I don't want to. Like I'm doing really good, but ugh, I don't like having to drive around so much. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you again tomorrow.